Hey guys, yesterday I put up a video regarding the SD card problems with the um, RG Ally. The problem seems to be heat related so that when you run your Ally in turbo mode, it gets so hot inside that it basically melts your uh, SD card. So today we're going to take a look at setting your fan curves in uh, Armory Crate. So let's start taking a look at that. Here we have the Armory Crate application. First we go to settings, then we go to operating mode. Here we have the different operating modes. We have the silent, we have the performance and the turbo mode. I think you're, uh, you're familiar now that if you run your uh, ally through a um, third party dock or hub, you won't get the full 30 watts TDP. This means that I'm running it at 25 watts right now. But let's take a look at this. Let me see here, the temperatures. We're at 68 degrees now. The CPU is 80 degrees. This means that the memory card, the SD card, is living kind of dangerous here in this one. Of course, it depends if you have an operating temperature that's rated higher. But, I mean, we're buying cheap memory cards. We don't buy the, you know, military-graded cards. So, I mean... That's not good for the cards to have 80 degrees inside the case. So let's take a look at this. Let's go to manual. Here we have a few different settings we can tune. So let's start with this. The SPL, that's like your standard default speed setting. So if you set it to 25 watts, all your gaming session, it will run in 25 watts. The SPPT, that's a setting that will raise the voltage and the speed of the system for two minutes. And then we have the FPPT, that's a burst mode that works for 10 seconds. Myself, I'm not sure why we need these. Why do we need a 10 second burst or a, you know, two minute burst? It's probably some smart thing that if we need more frames in Horizon or whatever, it will burst. But let's not care about that now this is plugged in so this is for the ac this is for uh, a power adapter or a charger or a battery pack connected if i unplug this and play with the settings here i will get to the dc settings that's like the battery settings and then we are going to raise our temperatures here now i'm doing this sort of like straight line here and this works this way 32 degrees the fan will blow at 2%. At 45 degrees, we will have 30% fan. 55 degrees, we will have 55% fan. 65 degrees, we will have 80% fan. 70, uh, let me see, 70 degrees, we will have uh, 70 degrees. Let's put it at 90. Then when we get to 85 degrees, it's going to be at 100%, 100% and 100%. I have to leave a disclaimer here. Uh, I can't promise you that this will work for you, but this will kind of keep the system cooler. So I guess you have to sort of like uh, figure this out yourself, your perfect fan curve. I'm also going to copy this one. The sad thing is that we can't copy you know straight off so i have to do this manually there we go now we have the same fan curve for uh, both fan one and two and we have to save this let me see yeah save this and it says do you understand what you're doing and since we're not overclocking anything terrible i'm gonna press yes but remember, you're doing this on your own risk, but there shouldn't be any problems. This is just adjusting the fans. And as you can hear now, the fans are starting to go ballistic. We see the temperature here lowering. We had 80 degrees a second ago, and now it's lowering. So now we're getting close to 70 degrees because the fans are going at 7,700 RPMs. And as you can hear, it's a bit louder. That's a much louder system. And this can also be tuned 
if you feel that this is absolutely terrible, go down here and look at, if we look at the system stats, we see 70 degrees. So if we look at 70 degrees, our fans should be going at 80%, between 80 and 90%. So 85% is the fan speed there. Try this, try this out and see what kind of results you get. You can look at the temperature here. The GPU is cooler now where uh, the CPU is around 70 degrees. So this should definitely keep your system cooler and it's definitely cooler. If I touch it here on the case, it's absolutely cooler. So yeah, that's my tip for today. Check out the fan curves. It's not as difficult as it looks. And if you have any questions, please post them below. Hopefully this will keep your uh, SD card a bit more safe until Asus comes out with a fix for this. Until next time, stay safe, stay gold and uh, see ya.